Okay, we are back. Week five of the TPR Dynasty. Uh, we're a perfect 2 0. We're going up against Notre Dame. We've got a huge, huge visit list, including the number one, the number three, the number five, and the number eight players in the country right now. Let's go take it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this list. Guys that we've got that are going to be on visits this week. So we've got Ernie Hughes. We've got Brady Harrison, Trey Hunter, Terrence Jones. We have... That guy, <laughs> Clint Brown, Andrew Drew, that's a weird name, uh, Stephen Perry, I like that last name almost, Ben Harris, we've got a loaded list of guys coming into town that just want to see us smack the dog shit out of Notre Dame, and I just hate to disappoint. So here we go, guys. Uh, Number four versus number 11. Everybody's playing Notre Dame this year. Everybody's playing Oklahoma because those are two jobs that have just somehow, some way, gotten out of everyone's reach. I don't know how they've done it, but computers keep getting hired at these schools. And we're all Oklahoma fans for the most part. So we want Oklahoma to open up. We want Notre Dame to open up because that's another really good school. And I am here to contribute to the cause. So, I've already played Oklahoma. Got a big win there. Played against my buddy Derek. Got a win there. And now it is time for Notre Dame. My third and final, until later on this season, non-conference game of the year. This is kind of what I was going into here. We've got a big, big visit list. This guy, Trey Hunter, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, he's got 4.26 speed. So he's a burner. Really, really need to have a good day out of my defensive backfield. I need to have a good day from my running back, my quarterbacks, my wide receivers, everybody, offensive line, everyone. Glad to have you with us in so the studio. So it's very important. I hit every single one of my EA goals. Sports NCAA I'm hoping football I can do it. 14 I don't know about the defensive goals, presented by but I'm going to try. I'm going to see what I can do. I'm not very good at defense, but we're going to try to make it happen. You wouldn't know it, but it only took 90 days to build Memorial right. Stadium back in 1923. So we Today, have. it's one of the iconic sites in college football. Ooh, I want the ball. I want the ball now. It's got McMillan and Vaughn back. Ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game As usual, Vaughn's going to be the one to turn it. All of this one. Great kick. Up. And it goes into the end zone. Got down my sophomore Husker running back, back Lance Hodge, who's been having a great year this year. Um, but also, as an offensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him so much, we could get blown somewhere else. Also, side note, well, the defensive coach has told us this week, the first thing they have to do is stop this running game. And you're convinced that you have to stop the running game. Also, having a fairly decent season. You lead your defense up a few yards there. Wondering if he's going to bust on the season this year. They don't have, if they don't, both have over a thousand yards rushing. I'm going to be so upset because they're both really, really good for Second and six. Andre King actually was slated to be better. Yeah, and about the 39 yard line. It's great for a running attack. But it's a screw for the first down. It makes an offense. So the triple option works. I get a first down there. And we just want everything to work today. We need to play smart. Here we go. First taste of Andre King. And a goal after a decent pickup. Uh, three King. yard game. Gains about four <laughs> yards on the play. play. But they closed pretty quick there. That was really good. Good defense. So we're going back to the triple Second option to the left side. The yard line. Hodge is back in. And King He's into the open field. field. And Andre 
and he shoved out of bounds around the 44 yard line. Way too good of an effort pass. by the defense to bring him down. When you try to tackle this guy, like, it better not stop until you hear the whistle. Close. I don't know. That was whack. The more that I just even said that. That was really good. All right, we're going to get a little play action going here. Try to get the pass game going and see what we can do here. Now he tries Let's to buy see. some time. Why? He's oh, no. Undercut him. Tipped away. This just shows Why? you that I originally thought I had to be sacked into the quarterback to disrupt the passing zone coverage. So that was my mistake. We're going to go back to the pass game, though. From the 44-yard line, uh, can't start it's second down. Bad there. I want to I wanna make sure we get this all uh, buttoned up. Vaughn gets a nice little catch. And he's tackled around the 29-yard line. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of first seeing it completion. and reading it, and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. First and 10 on the 29-yard line. Let's hit him with a counter and see what they can do with that. Andre King back in as running back. Coming to the right side. Makes a good cut. He's down and the picks up yard yards. Nice blocking on the counter, and he was able to pick up around eight yards. Both these running backs really, really good. Here we go. We're going to go so with the second right down and about two yards to go. Mix things up a little bit. Give Andre Keen the first read. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Now it's first and right, goal. Yards rush. After a nice game. Lance so the option play gets him big yards six. right there. Yeah, you know, it's so amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find a hole and get through. Rush yards. Let's see about getting the drive. screen here and see what they'll do about that. Peter's been reading my screen from over the middle to his tailback. He's taken down at the 11. Loss definitely. of three. They really oh just didn't have any room really to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Uh, I'm feeling a little risque. So let's see what this From the 11 yard line. Again, you've got to be really smart. The offense is trying to really open smart. this field up coming out in a five because wide set. I'm trying and the defense counters with their dime look. Yeah. He's under some heat. Throws out on the run as receivers go. They make the stop. Round those six yards. special, but just getting it in there close enough. Try to see what we can get here on. This is the Third 11th down. play of this drive. All right. In the shotgun and five this wide. This is going to be money. I feel like that corner of this play is too far off for him. I mean, and McMillan is too fast to not give him that over time. So it's going to be an early 6 0 lead for me. And. Oh, yeah. Got a turnover. I wonder what that was. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the Super Sim. Interception by Jay Owen. Hoping that that is. And we see this offense again after what you sure called a very physical touchdown. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap because the big first shot is up were able to create game. holes for the running game and it helped them get the score. Let's see if uh, they can do it again. Just back, about him, out. but he still had the defensive back stepped in front of the throw. That makes it second and ten. So we're going to go back to the run so game. It's second and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. A little line. dive here with uh, Lance Hobbs. Nebraska he is up seven. Of course. Right side. Bounced off the tackle. Down he goes. Rolls and for about eight yards. Three yard line. And he's up to 34 on the game. Back to the option. Now, this would be, if I'm guessing correctly, either I'm, I, I would think that the way that I've been running the option, they probably, uh, I will, my guess was they keep it inside the, the 10. Touchdown, the Cornhuskers. Instead, Andre King runs in for a touchdown. It's 13 on Nebraska. 23 yard run. Like I said, Audrey King is a force to be reckoned with. That dude is a beast. So, let's see. A Nate is four. Out to Mundo. So it's 14 7. As the ball set, it's ready to kick this one to Excellent kick. So far, my defense has been the one that made the play today. He's to the 20. And wow, just flat back Down both the their guys. This could be it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Kickoff return for a touchdown. He returns it all Jeff the way McMillan. 101 yards. That's his second kick, or his third kickoff return for a touchdown this year. 
and it's 21 to 7. Just absolutely flat back coach of the Kingers. Good play there. And I'm having a little trouble with their running. So it's going to be 21 to 10. He's ready to kick it away. 34 left in the second quarter. They're going to kick it to Vaughn now. He's going to be able to return this one. Taken from the three yard line. Wow, that was Gets out to about the 21. Hodges had great and, games before. Uh, I'm sure he's going to have more see. in the future. Right now in the first two quarters, so far, it's not his ball game, but you've got to give his teammates some credit. Well, I yeah. think his teammates deserve Scored all the credit the at this point. First play. I think this so, defense yeah. that they're first facing is so focused on taking him so. out of the game that it's opening up other areas for this offense to be able to execute. And to this point, they've done that. And collectively as a team, they're playing pretty well. Breaks tackles so easy. He's up to 55 now, and we're approaching the 100-yard mark. It's second and down, and they're about two yards game. away from the sticks. They are just keying on Hodge so much. They do not want him to be the guy to run it on here. There we go. There we go. Nice run to the Seven outside. And he carried that one for a few Andre yards. Pete's gonna have you know, when day, you have a guy that can day. grab five there. yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing. play passing. action here. Get back to the pass game. Play. The quarterback a, came out of nowhere. I don't even error. think the quarterback knew there. he was blitzing. I just ran right into it. So the sack makes this a second and Try nine. again with play action. Run a little bit different play. Let's see if we can't have a little bit better result. He's on the run. He's going to air it long. Their defensive backs are being more aggressive than my wide receivers at this point, and that's really hurting me. Third and 21. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Situation. We need to play here. Nice play. Of course you count on Jesse Miller to make, get you a big play that you need. Corey Holly up at 5-8 for 6-6 yards in the touchdown. We're going to stick right there and the just go back to the pass game. My dog is all over this chicken field right now, in the gun with five wide receiver. receiver. Andrews with the catch. We have got Andrews, a freshman red shirt. I believe that might be his first catch of the year. They blitzed the corner that time, and it yeah, created a defense. hole in the coverage. But that's the risk you the take when you leave a here. receiver to rush the passer. Caught out in the open. Tackle made at the 49. Severo picks up seven yards with now. that catch. Notre Dame's going to have to use their second time out of the half. My 49 yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's tackled at the 41 yard line. Notre Dame's called their final timeout. Nine yard pickup, and that puts them at the 41. Right now, we're talking about a 50. 
six yard field goal, I believe. So, probably going to be getting a long pass play. We are just missed the sack. Low, incomplete. Oh, receiver. man. Just missed it. Going to go to the happy play to have the football lead here. Over number 11, Notre up Dame. By 18. Doing good things here. We're gonna play defense. Apparently. There's got to be because some sense of urgency to this offense to right now. Games. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Oh, big hit! <laughs> Jars the ball loose from the ball carrier or the receiver, and uh, man, I mean that was from the 49-yard line. Second down. Second and ten now. Coming out, just going to play a little bit of zone. They've been passing the ball a lot. Out of bounds. And it's a 44. Pick up and then plays it high. They're going to go hurry up. Just switch over to this. Play a little bit of man. Strike to the receiver. Right. Tackle at the 21. So That's good decision making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. Inside the 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. He kept it himself and picked up a good. My controller is dying on me. Yikes. I can make First down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. They're wow. not done yet. That was me. This offense is really seemingly been unstoppable. Back, yeah. Should be interesting to see now if the defenses change things up as they try to stop these guys. He lets it fly. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. It's like, nice job so getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. <sighs> Second Goodness down gracious. and ten to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he's looking for more. And they push him out at the 45 yard line. situation here. Second down and one. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick. 
hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. This quarterback right Listen, now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Catch him. That's his point of the game. From the 46-yard line, first down. But he got him the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. three yards to pick up the first down the quarterback in the gun empty backfield five wide receivers the right in the formation and his receiver touchdown 15 yard touchdown nebraska up 41 to 17 14 that throw for six gives him four touchdowns well, what we have right now is a Corey holly had to set a base on Another hold on defense. These guys are fooling around and acting like they know how to play D all of a sudden. Six points and a pretty display of passing was we'll a result of their last drive. Kurt, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense and is trying to do. The coverage is picked off. Yeah. And he tackles them hard. The we tried. You know, you might look at this and wonder if this is just a meaningless interception. But if you're the offensive coordinator, and especially the... And they're going to score. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession for, uh, on their last drive. Let's we'll see what he does here. here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's going to try and scramble. Uh, and he right. has it on the so corner. Steps out of bounds at the 30. 42 to 24, Nebraska. Over the day for moments. Nebraska is um, up by 18. Defense needs to stiffen up because they look like trash. <laughs> and offense needs to stop their own picks, obviously. But, you know. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. You know. Going deep, lays it out there. Oh, uh, come on. And he's tackled right around the 34. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm the bringing him back. I can't in the game believe room. it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every. I'm letting him back in the game. It's like a catch Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down. 30 to 38. Yard reception, and you're just one yard away from the next 250. That's 45. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Really? Oh, let's get back to the run game. Well, no, you know what? 
I want another touchdown. I'm gonna put two interceptions on throw five touchdowns. Offense lines up in a five wide set. A defense anticipating pass here. There's Adams. David Adams to go three yards. Actually, that's his first reception of the year. And it's first down. Right back to it. They've got four cracks at him inside the five. It's first and goal. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost big. From the 15 yard line, third down, just under three to go in regulation. Ends up Dude, the there's no freaking way. There's just and no he's freaking way. Nice interception there's and no an even way. nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. Oh this guy's an athlete. There's this no throwing it over vertical. this guy's hand. He'll go up and get it. Once again, he's scrambling. And they make the it's stop right around the 16 yard line. a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Do it. So blitz. It's going to contain the Third down, and they're going to need about three yards Thank to pick you. up the first down. Watch out the pocket. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Oh, yes! What's with the pig? And that's my second interception of the game. It couldn't come at a better time. Just a great he just he jumped that the whole way. Wow. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the kick. Just because I don't learn my lessons for passing again. <laughs> That's just embarrassing. From the 12 yard line, second down. I think my video is going to get a lot of views. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Touchdown. Times his receiver. Touchdown. 10 yards. 48. And in that play, it would develop nicely. It's all about the receiver on this play. He beat it. Let's just get out of here. Place the defense. Call it defense. Second down. Just under two minutes in the game. Fires out to his wide out. Brought down around the 50-yard line. Third down. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. For a loss of eight. With Aaron Chase. Nice. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Here's the eighth play of the series. The DB blitz here. 
The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Caught with room to work. And he is drilled at the seven. Notre Dame's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Can't figure out how to stop him. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Defense, and this is the defense is bad since playing pretty good this game. Better than they normally do. Under so a minute a, left. Definitely a big plus and a big takeaway for this game. I needed a big game from them because I got a really big recruit. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that so one that tomorrow. really would be a big boost if I can get him. And uh, they're showing out for him. I'll tell you that much right now. They're doing The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. The crowd of this stadium always a factor in a football game. Oh, sack! The offense falls on it. Dang. Strip sack. 20 seconds left in the game. Fourth and goal. Can't recover. Oh, another pick! Seal it up. <laughs> That's the third one of the day. I just don't think he saw the Nice. Defender. Well, I got even on my turn. That's what That's happens when you focus on the one guy. You get tunnel with the play and just a really, really good way in this game. A very uh, feel good way. They line up in the jumbo game. set. I needed that pick. And, uh, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Nebraska will take their first time I'm out just of the right head. here. What you're seeing is I'm trying to get a little bit more rush yards just because uh, he's a big, busy week. So I'm going to pad the stats a little bit. You know. Give me my triple option. All right. made around the 12 yard line. The Cornhuskers use their second timeout. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. And they're stopped short. And well, 49 to 32 and probably about the stupidest way you're going to end a game. <laughs> so, a uh, big win this week. Hopefully, we get a big payout from those uh, visits. Uh Go ahead and take a look at this and uh, just kind of get a good sense for how we did. We got 250 yards passing, uh, or 297, so that's over 250. That's going to be good for our quarterback visiting. We got 100 yards rushing between two guys. Again, really good, going to help us with that running back. Receiving, obviously, 250 yards passing, so that's going to go a long way. Defensively, here's the one that is always the most difficult one for me. So, for defensive line sacks, I mean, for defensive line, um, we got four sacks. So, that's that's a goal right there. Tackle for losses, we got six. That's definitely another goal. Uh, interceptions, that's one corner. That's two corners. That's three corners, three picks. We needed two. We got it. Uh, deflections, you normally need, <laughs> you normally need three uh, of those. We got five. Definitely hit a home run there. Uh, Force fumbles just for the hell of it. We got one. Uh, didn't recover it. So, all in all, 
probably the best game in the, even though it was a shitty game for me. Uh, in reality, because I do stupid things when I play. In reality, it all works out really, really well in the end for me, just because I hit every single um, goal that I needed to hit. On top of that, I had several complimentary visits, so that's going to pay out for me as well. And the big thing, I win at home against the top ten or top fifteen team. That's still going to be a top twenty-five team. I'm going to get a boost from that, guys. We have. Improved to 3-0, and and that is going to be the wrap on this. You guys have a great day. Bye.